there's that one water hemp plant out there and every time I look at it it bugs me so I'm going out there and get it walking down between that's April planted that's June 30th planted and you can see the June 30th stuff is caught up with the April stuff and the April stuff has actually I don't know if I've ever seen beans do quite like that before at this stage maybe too much nitrogen in there I don't know got a lot of flowers on them though Ooh, I hope I don't, this is getting soft ground. I hope I don't mess up these shoes. Got a lot of morning glory over here in this. I uh, wonder if I should trade rows right here. Yeah, if I get through right here to that row right there and go down this way. I don't know if it's going to fill in. Mm, I think I'll go back over there. Yeah, walking around in these tight rows is not easy at all. Uh, go back down through here. It's nice when the rain comes and cools everything off yeah there's, well, there's two of them okay there was one behind the other one making it look like one big giant one but I'm kind of pleased with this yeah that's interesting so I've got morning glory all up through here I've fought it for years it gets all in the plant. I mean, what I'm doing is showing you how long that is. All right, last year, I had to harvest beans with morning glory like that in group five beans. The beans are early maturity. They don't require a frost to set them. And that stuff was still green. You go back and look at the old videos. And we fought, cousin Scotty Rock and I fought this mess. Now, this year, I'm not worried about it group seven beans uh, the first frost that touches this morning glory kill it dead and in about seven days that'll be so brittle it'll just snap right in two and go right on through the combine but uh, late planted late sprayed no morning glory I like that all right I want to get over there now where's it Good spot to get through here well let's see this might work you hate going in here to get a weed and then tearing up a bean plant to get to it almost there yeah it's a, I'm tickled to death with that late planted there wrapped up with flowers I mean that is full of them and that rain today is perfect let's see R3 flowering stage I may have that confused Ooh, that ground soft oh that would be something step over here and go down in ankle deep mud all right mr. water hemp plant how dare you be out here in the middle of my beautiful bean field I didn't invite you, and you're not staying. Party over for you. Good Lord, that's a big stalk on this booger. A, a twofer. I'll leave the dirt here. Yeah, when it's wet like that, perfect time to pull weeds. And now we're out here, we're going to go get that other one. We can make it over there without tearing something all to pieces. And we're here. Yeah, still clean and pretty out across here. Yeah, I'm out here. These things have made it waste high on me. 
and I'm six foot tall. Of course, right in here, there's some really good dirt. This has always made good beans. This field has always done well. The poor dirt was over there. Next year, well, this whole field's gonna get lime in February. And uh, might try that, depending on how that fertilizer experiment comes out, I put some 5-5-30 uh, on my little test plot. I haven't been over there to see it. I need to get over there and take a look. I might as well go on over there, but I'd rather spend my time out here fighting this mess. All right, back to a row, but I want to get in there. It's that darn morning glory, though. You know, tear something all two pieces going through it because it's intertwined in the beans. You just part them like that and find a place to step. All right, whoa, balance, balance, balance. There, right there, a bunch of seed. I would sure love to get it. But I don't see any real good way to get in there. See this thinking morning glory that I showed you when I pulled it out. The way this is, it's like a vine, a long vine, and it's tangled in through there. And, all right, Mr. Thunder, you're supposed to be over. You go away. I could go back down there, find the row, and fight my way up to it. That yardstick trick works good. I think I'll do it that way rather than try to fight my way through here. I got the two I came after. Yeah, that's clean and pretty. That'll be a nice combine ride through there. <coughs> Don't know what... Oh, sickle pod. Yeah. That morning glory over here on the side right there is burnt from the last time I sprayed this, but Flexstar, I don't know, don't make sense because this morning glory, I remember last year from here all the way down to the forest was wrapped up in morning glory. So maybe Flexstar did kill it just with that later in the year spraying that I did. I mean, here's some more of it, you see, wrapped up in there like that. That is, you know, I knew last year, I said, what do you mean I can't get enough group seven? I mean, see how long that is? I keep pulling on it. I wonder if these glasses are picking up that thunder that's telling me I ought not to be out here in the middle of this field. <laughs> but, uh, and this is another weed that makes millions of seed. Every one of these little flowers, in fact, i show them to you. Maybe that'll lay right there. Okay, that, all right, there they are. Those right there, right there, that's the seed uh, pods. They'll come out as flowers like that and then turn loose of millions of seed. Morning glory. If you ever get this plague of this stuff, I hope you can do late harvest after this stuff gets hit with a frost. Otherwise, imagine a piece of this 20 foot long beside 50 other pieces 20 foot long wrapped all the way around your Aspar cylinder. Uh, tight. In fact, the slip clutch is making a whole lot of noise because this has brought it to a dead standstill. Raspar cylinder, usually the access panel's kind of small. Not a lot of fun trying to clean that out. Next year, I'm sure hoping that uh, the Liberty Link program will clean this farm up. I mean, there's another big infestation of morning glory right here. And this stuff, it pulls bean plant down. That may be what I'm seeing in these leaves. 
this viney mess gets in there and just literally chokes the life out of the bean plant. See how much I've pulled out of there? Because it's a thick morning glory infestation right along in here. Eases up over there. In fact, I see a bunch of beans on that plant. Only thing I'm missing on these glasses is a zoom. Kind of missed that. Wish it had that. Got all fogged up. It's real humid out here. And uh, I think I've learned that the glasses have got to be pulled right tight up against your face. And the nose bridge has got to be right up against your nose. And you got to concentrate on looking straight forward with your eyes to get the glasses to actually pick up what you're looking at. It's different. It's not like having a camera with a um, little view screen keys. Yeah, that was real smart. There, my deep down in my pocket here. There we go. All right, keys. Let's see that one. Yeah, now they're fogging up again when I sat down here in the truck, and I can't see when they're fogged up. So. I have to take them off and let them rest a little bit with this fog thing. Alright, I'll be back in a little while.